everyone and welcome to another Yukon UPDC construction project update. My name is Lou Gatt and today we are on the new engineering and science building, the NSB building. It is August 4th, 2017. We're going to be taking you through the progress today. Let's begin with some amazing photography, compliments of our colleague Milton Levin. The north elevation is now complete. What an amazing journey. We started with the footings through the foundations, through the structural steel, and now to be able to see that it's complete. And as we're passing by the mechanical louvers to the top, we get a chance to see our green roof for the first time. Let's remember this was a grant through Connecticut DEP and the US EPA for the university's effort to reduce our stormwater into the local streams and rivers. And we'll continue with the loop around the building. This north elevation, the walks are in. We can see the walk into the main entrance. We're looking down. The excavator here is pulling out the subsoil, bringing in the topsoil, getting ready for the plantings. As we sing, swing around to the east, we see the sidewalk heading up through pharmacy and health services. It's just shy of one panel there. They're using that for access. And again, again, a great opportunity to look at the green roof that's almost complete through here. As we swing to the south, we see the blacktop is installed. First time we've ever had a chance to see this. There's some parking spaces that you see back here. It's been tied into the cup. The loading dock, the receiving area is complete. Here's a shot looking down at the stack on the central utility plant. Most people won't get to see. On the west side over here, we can see there's a lift in this area. There's still a couple of crosswalks to go in this area here. And finally, back to the front. And the second floor, mostly the open lab concepts in here. We'll see the third floor has a little separate wing for the CGI area. But this is really the open lab uh, concept construction through here collaboration again the service space back and forth through here we're looking at the, this is the north side in through here the service areas in here between the chair the spaces between the north and the south house all of the equipment in here whether it be a an environmental chamber or a cooler or a freezer get shared by both of the labs through here this area is finished cleaned very nice the standard cover for the electrical panels on each floor, marker boards in through here, the smaller workstations to keep the cross contamination from happening, the students' workspaces in through here. These labs will be shared between uh, researchers, grad students, the work areas right in through here, another work area right in through here for the students and the view on the east side stacked up on top of each other are uh, facing pharmacy here these are all the workstations in through here nice very nice glass divider partition in through there okay uh, biology second and third floor we're going to take you through the third floor here very similar Okay, each uh, of the floors are identical. You come off the staircase here, you know, water feature right in through here, drinking fountain, um, both handicap height and regular, and a water bottle. Got to get cleaned up in this area in through here, but this is the finished colors in through here, the two elevators in through here. We'll take a quick peek. So remember, two and three are the biology floors and they're interconnected in the administrative and the office areas in through here, uh, through this grand stair through here. So combining, keeping the two floors together, pretty neat. Again, white is the theme in through here. And working on the finishes down in through here. Nice glass uh, guardrail. This is what we call on the guardrail, and the handrail in through here. The first thing we notice when we come in on the lab section on the third floor is there's a CGI uh, wing in through here. That's everything beyond this glass in through here. 
which has this BSL uh, Bio uh, Safety Lab Level 2. This will be the training area in through here. So this uh, BSL Level 2 and the separation is really uh, to eliminate a cross uh, contamination in through here. Some shared space in through here, some offices in through here, and then uh, it's designated as a sampling uh, area over in through here. Very nice. White is the color, light is the theme in here. White on the countertops, white on the floor, walls and ceilings. Very bright, exposed with a view to the corridor. Four constructed, very similar to two and three. Four is an engineering uh, floor over and through here. Has the same setup pretty much as two and three. You come in, brand new high tech autoclaves with sinks that go on in through here. Again, the engineering has black countertops instead of the white countertops on the uh, uh, other floors through here. Workstations up against the glass with a little separation to the cabinets in through here. Cabinets are completed. This high-end paint we took you through on a video or two ago before there. The finished on these uh, marker boards. Great way to hide these electrical panels in through here. Very nice, accessible, useful. Covers in through Floor's here. finished. Again, this will be the shared space in between. Very nice. So not forgetting the way the second floor is going to be finished first, the third floor, the fourth, the fifth, and finally the first floor. So one and five are coming in late September. This is an amazing space here. This is a shared computer lab over and through here. This is a collaboration area, computer science, engineering in through here. Workstations will be in through here. Very nice space. Beautiful glass. Great view. Okay, fifth floor engineering again. Um, the uh, mostly the clean energy uh, group over in a uh, depot campus, and this is going to just about double their space. And the fifth floor is pr uh, pretty much the only floor uh, with hazardous gases up here. Uh, this group, uh, mostly uh, chemical engineers, electri electrical engineers, they're working on making the planet green, fuel cells, things like that. But this area here has um, a hazardous gases on it. It's a big deal on the, uh, on the safety program in here. All the gases are contained, uh, in particular uh, the storage rooms in through here huge hoods so the gases are either in the storage room in here uh, in all of these monstrous hoods in through here or actually on the lab benches so engineering again has black tops and uh, as we mentioned this floor here is the uh, last to be finished of the engineering lab fifth floor with, with a little different set of workstations here they're all against the exterior wall down through here as we saw on the other floors there's little workstations on the end of the cabinets but a great opportunity here to see how the cabinets go together in through here how the units are built this is a little uh, supporting framework for the uh, countertop chases in the middle between the two cabinets to support the plumbing the utilities in through there there's a rack system down in here to see the unit struts to the floor some waste and venting in through there a great opportunity and we'll see the finishes in a little bit further down here. The chase ways on the end and you can see how they house the uh, all of the different pipings in through here. Copper acid waste and vent. A little PEX piping in here for water. Again the fifth floor the clean energy group over here it's all about the gases. We don't see a walk-in fume hood every day there's two of them in here they're just putting it together in here right now so pretty First neat. floor engineering be the last floor to be finished everything in a, on a tall building works from the top to the bottom we're going to keep an eye on these spaces in through here because they are so amazing this will have an open glass to be able to look in through here this is the virtual reality lab in here there'll be big screens in here there'll be some amazing uh, stuff going in here 
you see nowadays where people wear the glasses to be able to look in. There's particular gloves that go on that identify a virtual. Remembering that the north and south labs mirror themselves. We just look, there'll be another walk-in fume hood right in through here. Again, what a great opportunity to see the different stages here, the rough-in stage and the finish stages on the other floors in here. We'll take a second to go over the finishes in the staircases here. Not an everyday finish, the chain link for a guard right through there, white handrail. We've seen the uh, terrazzo precast before. Steps right in through here have a non-slip uh, integral uh, strip in it on through there. Terrazzo, light, white to go with the theme of the building, the white countertops. Nice to be able to have some glass in a staircase, not every day. That's the case. Vertical linear lighting, pretty bright staircase. First floor engineering, be the last floor to be finished. Everything in a, on a tall building works from the top to the bottom. We're gonna keep an eye on these spaces in through here because they are so amazing. We still have an open glass to be able to look in through here. This is the, vir the virtual reality lab. Quite the amazing place. Giant screens up on here. Uh, devices that you can look through, activate, robotics, hand gloves. This is where it's gonna happen here in the cyber physics wings in here. Think robots, think unmanned vehicles, drones. This is the place in here for them to try out, to experiment. So the ceiling will house netting to separate the, the areas in here here. The ceiling also acts as a place for uh, structural support to be able to hang things. This is unique so these devices will be able to fly in here uh, where they instead of going to another building to be able to uh, try them out they have a tall enough high enough ceilings to be able to do that uh, right in here. Then outside here these will be all the workstations. So it gets built out here and then gets applied, gets to go through its trial runs inside here, full glass to be able to open and see, come back out in here, fix, replace, repair, change, modify, back into these spaces. So we'll come back in through here later on. Again, this space is not slated to be finished until later in September. Again, today is August 4th, 2017, and we thank you for your interest in our university project. Remember to subscribe to our Yukon UPDC YouTube channel. Once subscribed, under subscriptions, to the right, under the bell, a check next to send me all notifications for this channel with a save. This way, anytime we add a project or update a project, you'll receive an automatic email. We thank you for your interest in our university projects. Have a great day.